So I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but back there are vans and trucks because the SWAT team and their store unit, which is like special tactics and response unit, I think, they're training in this park right behind me. Only me. The only day that I can get out to do my fitness trail mile and the SWAT team shows up. So <laughs> I think they're training their dogs or I think it's a dog training unit or something because they have a bunch of dogs out here as well. So I got out here today to do the fitness trail and it's about a mile and my husband is watching the kids right now. So special shout out to him for holding down the fort so I can get out and do my mile because I've been on a huge weight loss kick lately and I haven't really even been trying. So I'm, I decided to get out here and go for a walk. Um, I've lost about maybe 11 pounds and I think it has to do with the amount of hours I spend at work because I'm on my feet all the freaking time and I move so much. But I'm walking back to my car so I can get some water. I've got water in here and hang on a second let me get in um ooh, it's hot i'm gonna cut on the ac really quickly i know that like a hot mess please apologize i'm all sweaty from getting my exercise on Whew. but um i thought i would record today to give you guys a little bit of encouragement for those of you who are trying to take better care of yourselves as well um can't get my water open but because it is hard, it really is hard to, to, to have a family, to have a job, and to work out and take care of yourself. It's really hot out here, guys. But um, I've been trying to get in the habit of eating better and drinking more water. And I'm, I suppose that has something to do with it, too. But I move a lot as well. And I figure on my day off, if I can't move at work, I'm going to go outside and move, right? So, it is really hot, guys. <laughs> so, if you just pay attention to your eating, and I'm not saying cut out all your favorite foods. Just uh, watch the portion sizes and make sure you're getting a lot of water. Especially if you live in the south and it's really hella hot. Um... You know, just move and watch what you eat. Make sure you're getting the right nutrition. Uh, make sure you're getting the right nutrition for your body, because everybody's different. Everybody's going to have medical issues. Everybody's going to have a different body type. Like me, my thyroid runs really low. I have what they call Hashimoto's, and it's an autoimmune disorder. It's when your thyroid attacks your immune system and your immune system also attacks your thyroid it, it goes both ways so it's really really hard for me to lose weight so when I saw I lost over 10 pounds I got really excited and really pumped and I thought I would you know give myself a boost so I've actually been making sure I eat breakfast every day that's number one eat a good breakfast guys toss in a piece of fruit too like I ate a bowl of oatmeal and a clementine this morning I got some fiber and I got some protein and I got a lot of vitamin Z. Clementines have tons of vitamin C and vitamin A. Um, also, I have tons of water stashed like in my car, in my house. I got water all over the place. So there's no excuse for me not to drink water. Um, I haven't had a soda in a while. I think maybe since Saturday, which is good. I make sure to drink water at work as well. Um, of course, I drink a cup of coffee in the morning as usual. Um, just don't overdo it guys I mean you got to take care of yourselves you can't take care of your family and your kids especially if a special needs child you can't take care of them if you're sick you have to make sure you take care of yourself as well I know it's hard I go through it too I know it's hard it's really difficult to balance everything you have on your plate but you got to find ways to do it um I think for dinner tonight I have some vegetables I got to use up before they go bad. I bought, we, we've always been really big on vegetables and fruits. They're just in the wrong portions. Um, we have a tendency to overdo it and, 
if you overdo it, anything is going to be bad for you. You can eat oranges all day and you're still going to gain weight because that's all you're doing is eating oranges. So it's just a delicate balance of the right foods and water and exercise. Um, they have portion sizes on the labels for a reason. Use those as a really good guide. Um, you can still have your your sweets and your treats just do it in small increments and just really watch the sugar guys because that's a really big too the sugar and I used to be really strict on carbs not anymore because um, the right kind of carb the right kind of carbohydrates can actually work in your favor if you balance it out right with all of your other um, fruits and veggies and meats and stuff um, Speaking of meat, I haven't had a, a meat product in a while. I think, I can't even remember when I had, I think I had hamburgers the other day because we had meat that we had to use up, but that's been it. So just really portion out your food, watch what you eat, go careful on it, and get plenty of exercise and plenty of rest. Um, just tune up your body, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and drive home. It's really hot, and I'm not gonna sit here in the sun for long. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.